In this video, we'll look at Joule's experiment where he used the calorimeter to show that the internal energy of an ideal gas is only dependent on its temperature. So what he did was fill chamber A with gas and evacuated chamber B. And a stopcock prevents the flow of gas between these chambers. So initially, we have gas occupying chamber A and no gas in chamber B. And these chambers are placed in a calorimeter. So we have a fluid over here and a thermometer to measure the temperature. Now Joule then waited for thermal equilibrium to be achieved between the system, which is the gas in chamber A and the calorimeter. So basically, by reading the thermometer, you'll read a constant temperature that does not change over time, which indicates that there's no heat exchange between the fluid in the calorimeter and the gas. So therefore, Q is equal to zero. And in the context of the first law of thermodynamics, we have the change in internal energy of a gas is equal to the heat added or removed from the system plus the work done on or by the system. So the next step is to open that stopcock such that the gas can flow from A to B until the pressure in chamber A and B is the same. Okay, so we have a flow of gas that goes into this chamber. Now when he read the thermometer, Joule observed a slight change in the reading of the temperature. So in other words, this can be interpreted to as no temperature change when looking at an ideal gas. So because there was an expansion in volume, so the change in volume was positive, but a very small temperature change occurred in a thermometer for the real gas, and this is assumed as basically no change in temperature for an ideal gas, then it was concluded that the internal energy of the gas is dependent purely on the temperature. So in other words, if we look at this pressure volume diagram, and we look at the ideal gas law, so PV equals NRT. Now if the temperature is constant, then the pressure is equal to NRT, which is constant, over the volume of the gas. So the relationship between the pressure and the volume would look something like this. And this here is for a constant temperature. So it's called an isothermal transformation. From state A to state B. And in this transformation, because the temperature is constant, then the change in internal energy of the gas is equal to zero. And these are some things to keep in mind when we look at the different transformations of an ideal gas system due to different thermodynamic processes that we're going to look at. And I'll see you in the next video.